Hey guys, we are going to talk about the three most important rules of photography. Let's get started. So, let's look at the rule book here of rules of photography. Rule number one. There are no rules! As Ansel Adams said, there are no rules for good photographs, there are only good photographs. Think of the rules more as suggestions or considerations. You know, sometimes you'll find that the rules fit, but sometimes they don't. So don't feel stuck to them. Sometimes the best photographs are those that, you know, don't follow the rules. I love the quote by Henry David Thoreau. Any fool can make a rule and any fool will mind it. So the best advice I have is don't be a fool. Art has always evolved by experimentation. For millennia, neither shadows or perspective was ever represented in artwork. You know, for example, Egyptian paintings were always two-dimensional. It wasn't, I think, until the Greeks that started putting shadows in their work. You know, perspective wasn't adopted until, I think, the 1400s when Italian painters started to experiment with it. Experiment with your photography, create it how you like it. After all, all things are subjective. You know, subjectivity refers to how someone's judgment is shaped by personal opinions and feelings instead of, you know, outside influences. Subjectivity is partially responsible for why a person loves an abstract painting and while another hates it. Again, there's really no rules to great photographs. There's only great photographs. Create the art that you like. Don't feel bound by the rules. So, rule number two, learn the rules. I thought you just said there were no rules. You know, someone once said, learn the rules like a pro so that you can break them like an artist. Hmm, I think it was someone named Pablo Picasso. Who is that guy? Well, Picasso is regarded as one of the world's most influential artists of the 20th century. You know, he demonstrated incredible artistic talent really early on in his youth. I think 13 years old became a professional painter. And what's interesting is if you look at Picasso, he evolved from a naturalistic manner throughout his paintings and, you know, childhood and adolescence, and he grew to painting like a child. He changed his style. He experimented with different theories and techniques and ideas. Experimented, experimented. So Picasso learned the rules of art and then he slowly adapted them and, you know, found ways to break them. You know, he really loved to study the rules of art because without the rules of art, he had nothing to bend and break. You know, it was really neat because Picasso learned the illusion of volume and then he deliberately learned how to flatten it. It didn't happen overnight. In fact, he spent his whole life trying to remember how to paint like a child. You know, in my photography, I look back to some of the first images when I didn't know anything about photography. I didn't even know that there was such a thing as a rule of photography. And some of my favorite images were just shots that I thought looked great. And it wasn't until later that somebody pointed out, wow, great rule of thirds usage. And I thought, what are you talking about? And that's when I started developing an understanding of rules. So, rule number three. Break the rules. Break the rules. Bend the rules. Guys, there's not one way of doing things. Tradition, invention, creativity can influence the norms. You know, Picasso's works looked like everybody else's at the time. You know, he really didn't stand out until he started to break the rules and experiment and do something different. You know, many of the experiments that he had were kind of successful, I think, you know? Uh, hundred million dollars oh, and what's really funny is the initial reaction was almost unanimously in shock and despise and outrage how could you paint like that you're ruining art well you know we now know Picasso didn't ruin art he pretty much invented it <laughs> you know edit flow is really where photography can be fun exploring my style over the years you know for, for me, it's what I want and what I want to create. And it's really funny. You know, there's a lot of people that will say, oh, I just shoot naturalistic or I just shoot like my eye sees it. As if they want to persuade that that's the right way to do it. You know what? I always say, good for you. You know, for me and my journey within photography really started out because I created photos that look to some people like paintings. And in fact, that's what got me into a gallery that didn't want photography, is they thought that I had a painting. And so they contacted me and that was my ticket in, is that my photography didn't look like a photograph.
You know, and today for me in my journey, I tend to lean a little bit more naturalistic than before. However, some of my best sellers are those that look like paintings. So again, it's what you want, explore. And again, to the people who complain about what I create, you know what my answer is? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. I'm telling you, no one should feel forced to accept the norms. Suggestions are great. Rules are great to learn, but no absolute rules should be ever imposed on you. As someone once said, art is ultimately a testimony to man's freedom. But they'll never take our freedom! So my challenge to you is find your style. Learn the rules so you can break the rules. And after all, there are no rules to great photographs. So if you like this video, please subscribe. There's a lot more coming. Hit the bell so that you can be reminded when I upload new content. Go shoot some icons and catch me in the next video. Learn the rules. Break the rules.